Hello, hello. English teachers worldwide, can you hear me? Can I get a thumbs up if you can hear me? Can I get a yes? I got a yes from Slavka, Tatiana, Claudia. No boys allowed today. Julie, Safa. Sorry, boys. It looks like uh, it's a woman, a woman ELT. Oh, there's Shaki. <laughs> okay, boys are allowed. We changed our mind. Rebecca's here. Hooray! Rebecca Hale in the house. Suleiman's here. I guess that thumbs down is from my comment about the the women only. Well, everyone's included. Everyone's welcome in the festival. This is our final class of ELT techniques. Ah, North Kakalaka Jack is here. Wonderful that everyone, uh, not everyone, we've got a lot of people, almost 3,000 people signed up. Uh, we haven't had quite uh, that number in any of the live classes, but I'm working on it. We'll get there. We have another MOOC, another ELT techniques coming up in March. And between now and then, we are going to have a lot going on. So the festival never stops. It just continues on. It keeps on, keeps on moving. Vicki Hallett is here. She's one of our esteemed presenters today. Uh, so we've got Jack Askew here. We've got Vicki Hallett here. We've got Sean, Shawnee, Sean Bonville here, and I will also, yours truly, Jace, I will be presenting uh, a video and an activity today, too. Yes, S to the B. It's too low? My volume's too low? Let me get a little uh, feedback here. Do you want me to be louder? It's not, it's not too loud. Okay, so maybe you need to turn down. I don't usually get uh, complaints of being too soft. Uh, Dalal is here, super fluency family woman in the house. What do you mean missing us? We're together. You're not missing us. You're just happy to be with us. Morocco is here. <laughs> Professor Tom is here. Wonderful. Look at all these folks that are here. This is just outstanding. Well, what we're going to do today is a little different. As some of you may know, we are going to uh, do a tag team event. Does anyone know what tag team means in English? Tag team wrestling is uh, probably the most common time you hear tag team. Tag team, yes, this is a tag team event. Can you guess what it might mean? We have four teachers today, four presenters. Ah, Julie has that idea. You first, then someone else, etc. Yes, if you ever watch wrestling, right, the idea is one person comes in, they do their thing, and then they go and they tag the next person to come in. A little bit like a relay race idea. Um, yeah, looks like you got it. So we are going to start uh, with Jack Askew, and then we will have uh, Sean Bonville, who has a very interesting, uh, very exciting plan today for something he's going to do with you. Not that the rest of us don't, but I think you'll see Sean, Sean, Sean is going to be uh, – the shining star today. Um, we also have support at WizIQ. If you can see in the chat box, that is our good friend and rep from WizIQ support, Sandeep, who is here to help us today. And we also have uh, Vicki Hollett following Sean Bonville. Hey there, Sean. Shawnee Sean. S to the B, as Jack says. <laughs> and uh, then I will follow at the end. We're going to keep the class an hour, but uh, we're going to uh, probably continue. I will definitely continue. I was imagining 90 minutes for this class. If you need to leave, leave for good, leave, come back in, whatever. We'll just keep the party going for a little while uh, today since it is our last class. And um, if we can keep you guys in here hanging out for a while, uh, thank you, Slavka. Then uh, we have a few other things we could do and talk about to keep the party going, keep things moving. Yes, last class, but this is not the last MOOC. Uh, we're going to do this three times a year. And as I said, and Sylvia spoke about in greater detail yesterday, there are going to be uh, many ways that we can connect between MOOCs. Uh, primarily, the focus will be on sharing things that we did during the MOOC. Uh, so that will happen in WizIQ and especially in Club EFL, where we're going to be blogging and sharing, and we will be in touch. So if you're a Facebook person, there's a lot of activity going on with EL Techniques on Facebook. If you're not a Facebook person, Club EFL uh, is going to be a place where we can share and we can get our stuff out to the masses, <laughs> which I think will be just such a great thing professionally 
and uh, just so exciting for all of us. Fluency family spirit, that's right. To me, all of you are in the fluency family, uh, but this is also our ELT Techniques family, ELTT in the place to be. And we are going to, oh, Sylvia Sylvia is here. Yes, flu fan for life. <laughs> Uh, I, thank you for me bringing you together. Well, I, I'm glad I, if you're one of the people that feels like I brought you together, that's wonderful for me. There are people I feel who made it possible for me to get together. It just goes down the line like that. Melissa's here. Boy, some really, uh, Demetrius is here. Fatima's here. Woohoo! Wow, some really great folks are here. I'm so excited to get started. So why don't we do that and we'll end today. The last part, uh, sort of like what we're doing now, uh, talking about the course, uh, give questions about the course, exchanging information. I realized today that not everyone was aware that you have an extra week to submit your post-class tasks. It was in a YouTube video. YouTube videos blocked some countries. Uh, and also, I did give some information in a message last week. But I did send another notification saying that you do have one more week to submit your post-class tasks and uh, you will get evaluations if you haven't received a confirmation from the presenter don't worry they may just be catching up uh, and evaluations they're not going to do them right away if they have other work to do don't worry about that and regarding the certificate that's the last thing i'll talk about then we'll get started the certificate is not going to come right away either. Uh, if you need some kind of recommendations, some verification that uh, you've done the four assignments, uh, you can email me about that. Uh, but please don't worry. We'll make sure that everyone that did the four assignments gets a link to their certificate where they can view it, save it, and print it if you like. Okay? Does that sound okay to everybody? Can I get a thumbs up? Can I get a yes? Can I get a volumes okay? Picture's okay before we get started. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I love you, ELTs. And that's the truth. Capital T-R-U-T-H. All right. <laughs> Manju, what happened? I got a thumbs down? Woo uh, if you're having problems seeing or hearing, and that might be the thumbs down. I'm hoping that's what that is. Uh, please exit and come back. You can do a little refresh and come back in. Uh, so hopefully we won't have too many problems with people connecting today. I, I need to find my friend and dear colleague, Jack Askew. I'm going to give him controls here. There's his and his microphone. Oh, woo! Now that's what I call ES celebratory. <laughs> can everyone hear me? I can hear you, man, and I can see... And Wait a second. Is that a bow? What is that? I can't. Re this was a uh, yeah, fifty cents from the local store. I don't think it's meant to be worn like this, but you know, it's the, the last class. <laughs> I, I love it. You know, I'm not. I'm not really sure how that's supposed to be worn, but I, I really like the way that you're rocking it today. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> this is no. If you don't know, this is Jack Askew of TeachingEnglishOnline.com. North Kakalaka Jack, because he's in North Carolina, uh, but he's originally from the UK. Uh, and he's doing some, recently doing some really great, great, great things uh, with video, uh, including making his own videos, which he's just uh, recently gotten into and I'm sure is going to do many great things with. Uh, but he's been doing things also uh, for a while with video clips. And I believe that's what you're going to do today. Is that right, Jack? Yeah, that's that's right. So we're going to look at really short video clips, um, focusing on television series, which you can probably guess which one I'm going to focus on today, and then showing what you can do in terms of listening activities, general activities, homework, and pronunciation too. So, uh, are you still here, Jay? So am I? Go. Yeah, I am, and you are ready to go. You just uh, say the word if you want me to play the video first, or do you want to talk uh, about the video first? Um, I'll talk about the video first, and I'll let you know. Um, I don't have the arrows, though, for the, the next slide. Uh, one sec. Oh, hello. So, perfect. I'll, I'll <laughs> let you know. Um, firstly... Oh, no, I, I just can't. I just gave it to you, so you can ask me to do it, or now you should have control. Okay, great. Sorry. I can see it now. 
So, okay. firstly, everyone, um, who knows who this is? And I want it in the context of a character, not the actor. Joey, 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 great. Now, let's have a look at the next person. Who knows who this one is? Who, who is this? Rachel, exactly. So we have two people here, Joey and Rachel, from the television series Friends. So, give me a thumbs up if you have seen Friends before, if you enjoy watching Friends, if it's something that you use in the classroom. Who has used Friends in the classroom before? Not in the class, but still a few thumbs up. So I've recently been using Friends in the Classroom um, with all my students. Now I teach online one-to-one, -one, um, but as you remember from my last presentation, I based it on how you can use these kind of uh, activities in a group class. So let's have a quick look. Um, what I like to do is, if you introduce this for the first time, what you can do is show these two characters from the screen, from the scene, just like I did today and ask people who knows who these characters are. And at this stage, usually people get excited because they know it's from Friends, and a lot of people have seen Friends in their own country, watching it in their uh, own language, when they dub their uh, voices over. So, um, first I ask who these people are. Then what you can do is ask the class to describe their personalities. So, what is Joey like? Let's in the comments box. Give some adjectives, talk about his personality. What What is he like? Stupid, funny, goofy. Goofy's a great one. Careless, silly. Yeah, exactly. So he, he is kind of like known as the stupid one. He says silly things. Um, he's lazy too. He's also lovable, I feel. A lot of people really like Joey. Um, what about Rachel? How would you describe Rachel? Pretentious. That's a good one for Rachel. Pretty. Yeah, she, she's, uh, she's known to be quite mainstream. She likes shopping. Um, she likes pop culture. She doesn't really get into anything like too deep with science. She always makes fun of Ross for liking science. So they, these are two great personalities that you can use in the classroom. Um, what you can also do is have a list of adjectives available to assign to each one. So instead of just asking the question, what is Joey like, what is Rachel like, you can have their two pictures, maybe put them on the board, um, give them little stickers to put underneath with different adjectives for, for the personalities. Um, then I like to introduce the video and watch it for the first time. So, Jace, if you're listening, could you show this clip? This video clip. This is the unit for you, my. This is the unit for you, my friend. This is the unit for you, my friend. Sturdy construction, tons of storage compartments, some big enough to fit a grown man. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, I got in there myself once. My roommate bet me five bucks that I couldn't, and then he stuck a board through the handles and locked me in. <laughs> it was funny till I started feeling like I was in a coffin. <laughs> No, you, you can't fit in that thing. That's not deep enough. Oh, yeah? If I can't, I'll knock five bucks off the price of the unit. All right, you have yourself a deal. Okay. <laughs> See? I told you. Sometimes I come in here just to get away from it. Okay, so um, that was just a short clip from Friends. Um, what you can also do is give a background to this clip and talk about how Chandler had a bet with Joey that he couldn't fit in the cupboard and Joey wants to sell this unit. Um, so once you've done that for the first time, what I like to do then is to move on. I've lost controls again, Jace. Um, maybe it's, thank you, that was quick, very quick. So, elicit a description of what happened from your group. Um, what I like to do is to go around the class and to ask them what happened. 
Um, the great thing about movies or pictures, films, uh, clips like this is that you can describe them both in the present tenses but also in the past tenses. Um, so firstly, it's a good idea to ask them what happens in this clip where the class would introduce and say things like um, Joey is speaking with, um, with, with the guy and then he goes into the cupboard and to use it in the present tenses. Um, next activity, activity could be to listen while reading the transcript. So you have the transcript of the two characters on there and then they can fill in the gaps of the keywords that you want to use from the clip that you've just shown. Um, this is a really good way to focus on the, the actual language that you want to introduce and then it gives them the opportunity to listen and to see if they can listen, hear the words properly to then fill in the, the transcript. Um, then what I like to do is to go through key vocabulary with lots of examples. So the clip is providing the context. It's providing the whole context of the vocabulary that you introduce, the tenses that you use, the relaxed pronunciation that you use. But then what you can do is you can relate it to your class and give examples that are specific to them. If it's a one-to-one -one class, you can get very specific. If it's a group lesson, then you can more focus on what their general interests are and try to think of examples that match what, what they're into, what they like to do. Okay. Um, I've just realized that I used the, the wrong key vocabulary. I actually used a different video to make this, um, but I'll still go through this. Um, this is I told you, where you can have a relaxed pronunciation. Um, it was funny till, tons of storage compartment, and my roommate bet me five bucks. Okay, so I've actually used a different video for this vocabulary, but this is the kind of vocabulary that you can focus on. Um, and what it's doing is it's using a lot of slang. It's using um, a lot of everyday English. And that's another reason why I like to use friends' videos is because my students really want to go out and to speak to people in the everyday English. They love watching series like these. So then they can actually go through and understand things in depth, just taking these small uh, scenes together. So moving on, then we can move on to drills and role play. And I actually like to leave the role play to the following class because it gives you the opportunity for your students to take these drills home, these key phrases and vocabulary, and they can work on them and you can evaluate them. And if you watch my last class, you'll, you'll know how. So um, firstly, I want to talk about the ESL hip hop, Stephen Mayu, who introduced this hip hop beat. Um, and especially when you introduce Yes, it's great to keep that entertainment value going and to, to get the class really engaged. So they're, they're riding this wave of a class of watching a video, learning vocabulary like this. And then if you introduce a hip hop beat into this, make it fun, then it really just keeps the class up here. Because a lot of the times when you look at going into depth into this vocabulary and asking them to do drills, it can bring the class down, but you want to try and keep it up. So, um, used uh, Stephen Meyer's idea here of using the hip-hop beat. You can record your drills of the key phrases on Audacity. Um, there's also another trick that you can do with Audacity too, and this is that you can reduce the tempo. And when you've recorded these drills, or just even taken the audio straight from the clip, then you can reduce the speed without actually um, affecting the normal speech patterns. And this helps your students to really listen to and really understand the different ways that people speak in the shrinking and linking, the intonation and the stresses on words. Um, send them through Dropbox or through email, through Moodle, Google Docs. Anyway, just that your students can actually have these drills at home and practice them at home. Evaluate your students through SoundCloud. So they can actually send in their recordings of these different drills so you can evaluate these students one by one. And then, finally, the following class do role plays where you put your students into groups of two people and then they can actually act out these different scenes. This could be either just um, on their own in the class doing it all together or to bring people up to the front of the class 
and they can really act out these different scenes. And this way they have, they, they actually remember these phrases and they can use them in, in everyday English. So that's everything from this, from this uh, presentation. Thank you for listening. Well, that was great. I, I, I can see how you could replicate this uh, with innumerable <laughs> clips and um, not just video. You could do it with so many different uh, types of input, but obviously it's, it's, it's created and works really well to engage students, I feel, with video. I can see, I can see the students when he's talking about it. I can see how they would do it. And the personalized attention, the way that you're able now with technology to be able to assess them and give them that opportunity to, to submit uh, their work is, is, is fantastic. Let's see what some of the others are saying. Students will like it. That's Muhammad. Oh, and Elena's here. Hello, Elena. Merry Christmas to you. Yeah. Sylvia loves the steps uh, into ever more creativity. Yes, well, Jack is definitely a creative creative bloke. Bloke, chap. You say bloke, don't you? Yeah, kind, kind <laughs> like, yeah, we do. Chap is uh, he's even better, I feel. Um, okay. I, the, the other thing about this as well is that you can use different types of video. So this is taking uh, some kind of sitcom and it's using that everyday English, but you can do this with interviews, you can do this with watching the news as well, where people actually take right. on this and use it from different contexts. But the idea with the friends is that everyone's seen it, it provides a really rich context so then they, they remember these words and can picture them how they're used understand how they're using these different situations. But yeah, it works with, with anything really. Enormously important. And I especially find when you have something where there is that top down knowledge, that familiarity with it, um, you know, obviously we know how much how important that is to engage students in, and, and make them less stressed and, and get involved. But also it means afterwards they'll have a better uh, better better time, uh, we hope. Uh, watching Friends and other shows too, so it's 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 something that uh, you know. I feel, uh, from my experience working with things like this myself, just how they, just you know grateful they are to then have sort of a leg up when they go to watch Friends the next time. Definitely. Great. I'm... Any any comments or questions? I'll watch the chat box. Uh, go ahead if you want to uh, say anything more, Jack. Absolutely. Yeah, I saw a great question. I don't know who it was from, but asking how long it takes to create this type of material, this type of lesson. Um, and for me now, it only takes about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to actually put it together. And I have it on my blog. Um, there's a, a link in the bottom left corner. Um, and it shows, mm -hmm. it goes through the different stages. But you can take these clips that are about a minute long, find the transcript online, so you don't actually have to type in the transcript. Um, create a few exercises around that, take out that, those key phrases and vocabulary, and then recording the drills, it takes, it will take about a minute to record the different drills and upload them to Dropbox for your students. So this kind of lesson can be done very quickly. Um, obviously, the, the type of videos you use depend on your level. So this one, this, this kind of video is more for intermediate and upper intermediate students. Very nice, and I just want to say, I just the the concept, the the this choice. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you have lots of different clips, but I really like uh, how how simple the idea is of you know what happened, uh, even though the you know the language, some of the dialogue might be hard uh, because it's so simple. It's uh, what happened in the scene. I think this is really key. At least it is for me when I use video clips. Mm -hmm. Then the idioms, the shrinking and linking, everything else doesn't seem so overwhelming because <laughs> you can really uh, fo focus on uh, focus on that because you're not trying to wrap your brain around uh, you know what's going on in the scene. Exactly yeah and the, yeah because there are two ways you can take the dialogue and use the, the vocabulary around that or it's just a simple matter of describing what happens in the video and that that's like different language being used at this yeah. stage. Great stuff also if you haven't done it before with uh, uh, you know, not showing uh, turning the uh, sound off uh, turning the computer or, or the monitor around so that people can't see it or just turning turning the, the video off to guess what's going on in the scene. This would be a great one for that. So if you've never tried that, that's a, a really great thing to try. 
uh, because you can imagine with the uh, for this one especially with the sound off, uh, you could pretty much put together, <laughs> figure out what happened <laughs> and retell it. So that could be a, a thing that you do to get get into this type of video. Right. Excellent. Wonderful. Um, if you're having a sound problem, yeah, jump out, jump back in. Jack, thank you so much. We're on the tag team here, so we're going to keep keep things moving. Uh, but don't be surprised if uh, if I bring you back in later because we might just want to see that uh, festive bow again. Of course. Uh, I'll be so around don't, here. Don't go anywhere. Won't go anywhere. <laughs> don't, go, don't go anywhere. Yeah, we may, we may try to bring you back Perfect. in. Thank you so much, Jack. Thank you. Moving along. Moving along now. As we say goodbye to Jack Askew, North Kakalaka Jack, we have Shawnee Sean in the house. So let me make sure Shawnee Sean is, is here and ready to go. Um, do you know why we call him Shawnee Sean? It's a, it's a very recent uh, nickname for Sean. <laughs> Does anyone know why we call him Shawnee Sean? No? <laughs> Well, here he is. This is Shawnee Sean. Sean, why, why, why don't you tell us, why are you now Shawnee Sean? You gave yourself that name, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, because of the, um, the little rap that I did at the beginning of my uh, presentation last week. My, my debut international rap. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So uh, if you follow hip hop, you know what, what one common way to create a name for yourself, a persona, is, you know, JC Jace. Jackie Jack, so it's Shawnee Sean. Shawnee Sean has got it going on. That, that's it. And we're gonna, I'm gonna bring up your slide here in just a moment. Here we go. And I think I gave you controls. No, I did not. So here yeah. you go. Jess, can you play the video first? I absolutely will. Okay. Uh, another thing, I've got, I've got uh, the time remaining says 32 minutes. Is that right? No, it works. It's going to be longer than that. <laughs> yeah. Only a bit gonna, longer than that. I'm going to give it another 30 minutes after that. Yeah, it's going to be a 90 minute session. Uh, okay, so, so listen, listen carefully, everybody, to the video. The video is important. Jack's doing, I, well, I inter, I mean, not Jack, sorry. Sean, uh, all this received pronunciation stuff, I'm getting confused who I'm talking to. Um, no, uh, Sean, as I mentioned, is doing something really cool, really creative. You're going to love it. Uh, it involves him needing you to really pay attention. He's actually going to come back at the end and do something else with us. So let me get the video on. And... Hello, this is Sean Van Bell from BreakingNewsEnglish.com, and I'm happy to be back in the Smith IT classroom for ELT. Uh, my classroom uh, is actually in a spare room in my house, which is on the belt of mountain in Japan. In my own IT class a few days ago, ago, I told I about listening to the news and about how news is a totally fantastic thing 